Hello and welcome to day 43 of 101 Facebook Lives. Happy Friday. We're here at the parking lot with my bodyguard, Mr. Juice. You want to say hello? Juice. He is busy working and watching the perimeters for me. I am just here waiting for Bo. Um, he's picking up some carne asada and some fresh tortilla and all the fixings for that. I'm so blessed, so lucky to have a man who does everything that I don't like. Like, I don't like putting gas on my car. I don't like going grocery shopping. I don't like a lot of things. Meaning, I don't like doing the things that are not fun. So he does all the things that are not fun. But in return, because it's give and take, right? I also do the things that he doesn't like to do. Like, he doesn't like cooking. So I do the cooking and he pretty much does everything else. <laughs> I'm so blessed. I'm so lucky. I need to light a candle for that. Thank you, Lord. So today I want to talk about celebrating yourself for who you are, for who you have become, for how far you have gone to be who you are today. Because a lot of times we celebrate something that we achieve or something that we've done or something that we've accomplished. But we rarely, at least, I speak for myself and many of the women that I'm working with, we rarely celebrate ourselves just because of who we are being, of how far we've come. And it almost seems like we always have to do something and achieve something and then achieve the next thing to keep up the celebrations, to keep recognizing ourselves and to be emotionally healthy. We really need to start recognizing ourselves for who we are, for who we are in the inside and not just the things that we've accomplished. So I want you to do that. I want you to recognize yourself for doing the hard things, for showing up for yourself, for dreaming and believing and doing the things that are necessary for you to live your fullest expression, for you to, to be doing the things that people have given up on or not everybody has the courage to do. You know, recognize yourself for those. Continue celebrating yourself for just who you are. And especially for me today, I wasn't very productive today, quite frankly. But instead of feeling upset like I normally would in the past, because there are things in my list that I didn't get to do, I'm just celebrating myself for how far I've come and for just being me. And that's just as important as celebrating something that you've achieved because there's always going to be something to achieve. There's always going to be another level and another wavelength for you to be in. But also remember who you are in the inside and um, just recognize yourself so that we're not looking for it somewhere else. So not, we're not looking for recognition anywhere else. Um, aside from what we give ourselves. And that's always a good start. And that's always a good baseline. Juice is tired now. Well, happy Friday. I hope you have a good weekend and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.